Hi there guys, I've come down to the uh, field today and I'm um, just going to do some chronograph, chronographing on my um, CZ17 and uh, this is now come back from Germany and um, I'll just get you a bit of a closer up of this bit, barrel and um, this is I don't know if it, I think it's still call it a bull barrel and um, but it's extremely thick let's get you a close to these threads and that crown I'm really pleased um, with how this, this has turned out a beautiful crown that is Threads are uh, 18 by 1 threads, so they're nice and tight. And uh, I'll just put on this moderator. Got uh, the new Hawk scope on there. Which is the uh, six twenty-four by fifty-six, and um, it comes with a four-inch wheel, but I, I didn't kind of want that; it was a bit too big. So I uh, sent off for the two-inch wheel, and uh, the gradients on these are, are very good, actually. Um, I'm well pleased; they're accurate, and uh, just a little bit more accurate than the than the inner wheel there. Um, because I think that one there is just a bit too small but on this one here you so you got 10 yards and uh, just take a little zoom up that and um, yeah you've got uh, from 10 yards 15 25 up to 500 and then infinity and um, with the um, scope ring here the the actual gap just between there acts as a very efficient uh, marker I found this to be pretty accurate so and it's got the uh, the locking turrets so you can sort of pull these up and then down so very very good Got Butler Creek covers on there. Yeah, really happy the way she's turned out now. So I'm going to do some chronographing uh, because obviously now this is an 18 inch barrel. Uh, as the previous one was 16 inch, uh, a lot skinnier. This is a lot thicker, so should hopefully be sort of less vibration on this as well, less harmonics. And um, so I'm going to chronograph and to see what these speeds are and uh, it's a really hot day today so I've got the uh, the old brolly trying to give me a bit of shade and uh, just keep that barrel just a little bit cooler okay so bear with me
ってみたところけど関節やるとShots. We can give it two more. On there, just um, it's nearly fall into an error. Uh, well, I've got 11 recorded anyway. Um, damn it, because if I turn it off now, then it won't uh, register. Uh, right, I'll pause it there and um, I'll just get those uh, sort of added up. Damn, oh, just bear with me. Right, 27.54 was that, just before it went back onto the error. Um, so it did record that. I shall now add those up and find out what the averages were. And um, extreme spread. So catch you in a minute. Okay, I've got the uh, speeds wrote down here. And um, just put them onto this page here. So here we've got a low. low lowest speed was 2,000. 448. There was a high of 2754. Extreme spread of 305.3 feet per second. And but the standard deviation, which is what we're more concerned about, um, would be the 119.7 feet per second difference on the standard deviation. But the average worked out over those 12 rounds. I'd managed to, I did get that to 12th on there. Um, was 2,572. So overall, not too bad. Um, I'm going to quickly just go up to the target and take um, just a view there. Just that's just 50 yards, 12 rounds just banged in there, and um, we'll have a quick look at that. Bear with. Okay, this is the. Uh, the rounds there. Um, so at 50 yards, the way I've got it zeroed, you're probably a good three quarters of an inch high at 50. And um, I was I was shooting a bit of a downward angle, so that will come out slightly higher. But usually, I think it's around um, just over half an inch. <coughs> but uh, that's the group there. I mean, if I put my thumb on there, it hides most of them anyway. But um, we'll get this out to 100. Like I said, it is a bit breezy, but um, we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Bear with. Okay, I'll take a few shots now at the, uh, at the 100. A, there, there is a bit of a left to right breeze, um, but we'll give it a go and um, see what kind of groups we get out of it at 100 yards. There's about 90... 
98, 99 yards. Pushed it way over. To the right under still high. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so far not too impressed with that group, but um, I mean the wind is pushing it over. Uh, what's that? One, two. It's pushing it over about two inches, but we are still high. We're going to drop this down a little bit. Okay. Well, we'll take a quick look at that group. Um, there's two groups there. The first one was um, good. Uh, I'd say about a couple of inches high. So we dropped it down about an inch. But I didn't allow for the windage, so I, um, they will be over to the right-hand side. But that's fine. Um, let's go and take a quick look at that group. Okay, we've come back up to the 100 yard target and this was the first three shots. I mean, I was aiming here, so we were um, one, two, two inches high. <coughs> Took those three shots and then re-zero down here. I still kept the windage as it was, so this is the, the movement. Uh, one kind of fly over here. This should be five shots because there was eight in the mag there. So that, I'm pretty happy with that. That's five shots there, one stray. Cover that mostly with a five pence piece. Yeah, not too bad. It's 
100 yards and uh, might take another group now, the wind seems to be dying but it's, uh, we'll give it a go, see what happens, bear with. Ok back down at the bench and this is where I was shooting from and uh, just give you a close up that target just to make sure that uh, that's where I was shooting to, 100 yards. Well, I'm going to take another group and uh, see if I can try and better that group and uh, see if I can get it in between where the sort of wind dies down um, or actually dial in for the wind and uh, see how back here I can get those rounds in. So bear with me. Okay, let's take another group and uh, see what happens. Well, not as good as that first group. Um, we've got three together, or thereabouts, and um, two, two kind of random shots. Well, barrel's still quite cool. Let's take another and. Uh, I mean that could be the inconsistency of the round or I could have fluffed it a couple of shots there. No. 
No, the, the groups have opened up again. Uh. Damn it. <laughs> Not very impressed with that group <laughs> at all. Last group, and uh, can't seem to uh, get as good as that first group. So, I mean, it's had a few, few rounds for it now, but um, I'm still going so slightly left. I'm dial in for a little bit more wind. That's why to go into the right. I'll give it two minutes of wind. And let's see where we are. Damn it. Well, <laughs> tried. Uh, Second group was looking better, and then uh, a couple of pliers jumped out there. Never mind, I'll uh, show you a quick picture of that, and uh, I'll try another day where it's uh, a little bit less breezy. And uh, just pause that a second. Yeah, uh, well, that's where the target is 100 yards. Like I said, there is a bit of a breeze. I've given it two minutes of wind. Um, I slightly just over in the correction there, but um, no, it's not too bad. I'm hoping we'll have a few better days. I'll get you a quick uh, picture of that. Bear with me. Okay, these are the uh, the groups. Not very good at all. Started off uh, with this one here. Started grouping up nice, two jumped out. This one, completely shocking. Um, Got to be down to me. This one better. Three sort of coming together. Like I say these are one inch groups, uh, one inch squares. And uh, I could have over pulled this one here. Um, and that jumped out as well. So nothing fantastic on that. But um, not as good as the uh, 100 yard run there. But I'm going to put the, uh, the frame out to, I don't know, 250 or 300. I want to just have a bit of fun shooting a bit of steel and uh, see where we go. Charles.
Okay. Got some steel set up here now, and um, I'll try and take a. There's a truck. This should be about 250. But I'll confirm that when I uh, I get back down there. So, uh, oops. so bear with me. I'll start some shooting. Okay, I've uh, got some steel there set up at um, 247 yards. Let's get zooming on that. And uh, we'll try and use the ballistics. I've just put in the, the new chronograph figures. Uh, I want to see how long it takes me to get on that target. Um, hopefully I'll get on it in a few shots. Um, if not, I'll stop the cameras and uh, try and get one on there. Otherwise, because uh, I've got my iPhone recording on me as well. And uh, the battery will soon finish up on that. So, so bear with me. And... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll give that a go. We'll, uh, we'll give that a go. Okay, so six point Try three minutes. First one, it's on. So far these have all been hits, 250 yards, not too bad. Just a little bit low, there's a couple of high shots there. Well, that's 10 shots. Not bad for a bit of fun, but at least it got me on there. And that was... Uh, it was just under the six minutes. And um, 
and what was it three three minutes of wind and I can barely feel that wind I mean really barely feel it but that's what she needed to get on there well, hope you enjoyed that and uh, try and do another video real soon cheers there's some of those uh, shots there at the, uh, the 247 yards. Um, nothing really fantastic. Did get manage to get some around that middle. I uh, say some of these were, were a bit low, and a couple of went up there high. Um, but all together, just a bit of fun, and hopefully we'll do better next time. Cheers.